programs will do it. Premiere does it real easy, and it and the the, the end product is really nice. Yeah. I love Adobe hey. Premiere. Yeah. So there we go. We, we've been looking just a little bit at editing on your timeline, right, let's, or, or editing from from up here. Let's go to this other timeline that we made the Scotts Gulf Road here. And now we've pulled every bit of this video on to this. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna click I'm gonna hit click Control S to save. What Control S does, of course, it saves your project so we don't lose anything we've done. <clears throat> I hope my voice holds up, Bob. I'm sorry, I got a little bit of a. So here we go. Let's let uh, what I've done here. We got every bit of your video. We didn't edit it before, so I'm gonna show you how to edit on the timeline. And this is how I like to edit. I do probably 90% of my editing just right here. So I'm gonna hit play. And that's what we got. All right, so there's just maybe half a second when you take off the front front of that. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to go right there. Now, there's, there's two ways we can edit. Well, you can either type a C key, and a C will turn your cursor into a little razor blade. See that? Uh -huh. And you can click, and you hold that little razor blade over where, you've, where your edit point is, and it will cut that video. All right. I'm going to type V. V makes it go back to your pointer. So you got your C, V right together. So that they yeah. made it that way. So you can C, just set C for cut. C and V, I don't know, I guess for just, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why they chose. I figure they just chose V because it's right beside that. So, right. you, can, so you can sit here and do this. Yeah. So this is how I edit most of the time. Yeah. What's kind of neat is you got your C here to cut, your V to go back to your pointer, and you got your start stop button right here. Right. So you really, you can do, I, I, I'll sit here a lot of times, and this is how I edit this. Uh -huh. that, that's all the movement I get, Bob. Right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, the reason I click back to the V is now I can select the video I don't want, and I can hit the delete key, and it's gone. Uh -huh. Now, I mean, what I'm going to show you, you could go here and you could select every bit of this and pull it back, uh -huh. but that's a hassle to do that. So when you're in here, what I do, after, usually after I delete that, that piece of video, I right-click in the gray here where this space of there's the blank space here now. I right click on it uh -huh. and do a thing called a ripple delete. And what that does, it pulls every single piece of video back, all that video behind it, all at once. It grabs everything and pulls it and back pulls this it way. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. It's it saves you a lot of time. That ripple delete, you'll want you'll use that all the time. So let's watch just a little bit of the video here. We're in the Centennial Ridgestone Wilderness area this morning. We're going across to look at the Caney Fork River and Okay, we're going to stop right there. Uh -huh. the, now I know he's getting ready to tell us a bunch about this tree, but we're going to, I'm once again going to hit the C key. And so there, I've, I've, I've just done it again. I'm going to go back over here and let's say that we, he starts to make a really, really good point here or something. Let's see what he says. All the way up. Now, I'm not sure we can get it on video, but right over behind me is a short one. Right over behind me is a short video. Where he says right over behind me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another. Uh, I'm going to cut again. I'm going to do the V again. I'm going to delete here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull this over. Now, all this video, we've not done anything. To, right. All your video stays pristine. Right. You can go back and remix it a thousand. All we're doing is cutting the, the ends and out points, really, right. the video. Oh, but right over behind me is a short leaf pine. And it must go up 50 feet before the first branch. So, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cut here. So this is, uh, this is uh, if you like this, you like editing this way, a lot of times I'll do this. And I'll just go back and forth. I'll put my cuts in, your transitions and things, I'll still act the same way. Now let, let's let's do this. Let's say that this is this is kind of a cool thing for you to see. Let's see, yeah, let's take another. I'll make one more cut here. Let's arbitrarily do this B. Mm -hmm. And delete the ripple, delete that. And let's uh, pull this one down a little bit and go to the next clip, see what we've got here. So here's here's showing you some really cool moss or lichens or something on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah this one is kind of humorous. All right, now, now let now let's say. Now th this is a case where I need you cannot see the detail he's talking about in the moss. Yeah. And, and I need to show that detail because it's uh, you'll see it's very important. So you have some de you shot some pictures of it, I guess. Yeah, I did the little macro. Uh, All right. The detail. Uh, let's let, let's do this. Is a good opportunity to show this then. Let's go. Where is your Picasso? Do I go? To, what do I do to find your photos? There's one of the pictures right there. All or right. that picture would be exactly what he's talking about. All right. Let's see if we can download. Does it let? Does it let us download it? 
Yeah, I usually do a copy and then paste it. In. Okay. You it looks copy. like it's only six forty before eighty. That that that's kind of low res, but but that's all right. We we can blow it up. Uh, yeah, when you're out shooting in the future, try to shoot about a thousand pixels wide. It'll look really nice on your videos. All right, yeah, all right. yeah, or, or, or two thousand even. Right. But let's go ahead and get this one. So I'm going to do a copy and paste, copy image. But, but I assume we're we're going to just put a little inset. Yeah. A yeah. There you go. We can do that. So what I'm going to do now? Now what came free with your software too, with your Adobe, is that you got Photoshop with it, right? Right. So I'm going to open Photoshop up, and I'll show you kind of how I do this. So we'll say file. Well, hopefully it's going to come up new. Okay, we need to see we got a 640 by 480 picture. And I'll do a control V. What I did, I copied it. Uh -huh. The control V is a paste it. Now I've got that on there. And, and so now you can do anything you want to with this too. If you want to brighten that or it's like image adjust. I want to do a brightness contrast yeah. just, just to add a well, little. The drop down box is similar for the Yeah, functions. for both for both programs. That's yeah. the thing that's really nice about it. So so let's say I want to saturate this when you usually go up under image and adjust. So you'll have a little bit of a Photoshop uh, tutorial here too. Uh -huh. he, and you, yeah. I like to go to hue saturation very often. And I might saturate things just a little bit more. Yeah. Or you can make it pop a little bit. And and you know, if you if you decide you don't want the uh the thing here, the the time stamp, date yeah. stamp. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you can you can actually even. I wish we didn't have this thing recording around. Let me see if I can make this a little bit. There we go. Make it a little smaller so we can see this better. Yeah. I don't want that thing yeah. blocked. Let, let, let me show you what you can do. Like this right here. Uh huh. This is called your rubber stamp or your clone tool. It looks like a little rubber stamp, like you would, uh -huh. like you stamp. Right. Look. So what you do, you click on that. And then it's going to give you a, 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 a little, see how round that is? You, you can pick yeah. how big you want this clone thing to be. And it's up here where it says, fit. It's, it'll take you a little while to get used to this, Bob, but it's not real complicated. Here's the size of this circle. Uh -huh. I want to make the size of this circle a little smaller, so I clicked on it. And I'm going to bring it down to about 41%, 41, maybe 30 pixels. Now I've got a smaller circle, and I'm going to pick a place to cover this mess up that I like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an Alt. I'm going to hold the Alt key down, and it's going to give me a little bit, little like like target, like a uh, bullseye, right? Yeah. So I'm going to pick this little spike of stuff here, and then I'm going to go over here, and what I'm really doing is I'm dragging that one over the other, see? You, yeah. you, you, you'd never know, really, unless your eye was really looking for it, you'd never see that. Oh, so now here, you know, I want to put this leaf over the top. I'm going to go maybe a little bit smaller with my with my little paintbrush. So I'm going to get some leaf from right here beside. I'm going to cover that 32 up with that. So see what I'm doing? I'm going to get that. Yeah. So I'm just I'm sampling a little bit. So now I've got leaf. Now you don't even know that was ever even there. Yeah. And I'm going to do a control zero. The control zero shows me everything again. That brings it all back into screen so I can say, oh, yeah. it looks pretty good. Yeah. Now, so I'm going to do a file, save as. And I'm going to put that, I'm, I'm going to save it as a uh, JPEG. Uh -huh. You can save it as a Photoshop too if you want to, but JPEG's good. Uh -huh. And we're going to put it into uh, my book, and we're going to put it into Bob Potts. Mm -hmm. And we'll just call this Photo One. You call it anything you want to call uh -huh. it. And so we're going to save that. Once again, I've got my save button outside of the field of our recording here, so I'm going to do save. So now it's, and it's going to ask me what quality do I want to do it. I usually want to do it the best quality. If you plus all the way over to the right, it's quality 12 is the best. Uh -huh. okay. So then it's saved pretty good. I'm going to kind of uh, pull this over here. We might use this again in a minute. So I've got a second screen over here that we've pulled that over to. Yeah. So I'm going to pull your other stuff over here to your Picasso page or your Google Photos. So let's say we want where he's showing this, this uh, liking on the ground. We want to be able to show that picture like you're talking about. All right. I'm going to double click back in here. Now, it depends on where you want to put it to. You might decide you want to put it inside this folder with the rest of your Scott Skull Road. Uh -huh. So here's where you might want to just double click on the folder and then double click inside there uh -huh. and then go get uh, your image. Oh, wait, we didn't do it there. Hang on. Let's see. Bob Potts Photo 1. Okay. I saw you had another picture in there, though. But now it's just imported that image in here. Now, the image we're working with is much smaller then this, this is a big old 1080p pixel. It's going to be just a small little section, but let's let's look at how we might do this. Let's let's look at a little bit of our video. 
see this beautiful, beautiful deep green that the hairy cat moss. Okay, right there at hairy cat moss. We yep. might, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little M. I'm gonna tie, I've got to a place where I think I'm going to put my hairy cat moss. I'm going to put M here. You don't have to do this, yeah. but this puts a thing called a marker in just so that little green thing appears. That just just show me, okay, I think right there is, this is some, um, so I'm, I think I'm going to yeah. put my picture in there, and now I'm going to yeah. put me a marker there so I'll uh, know that. Can, can I mention one other yes, thing? Yes, sir. And, and I've already kind of played with this. I'm going to, when he says a technical term yeah. or, or a name like yeah. Harry Cat Moss, yeah. I'm going to show a title. Yes, sir. That says Harry Cat Moss and then the Latin name under it. Okay. Do, do and, you, and, huh? Have you learned how to do your titles yet? Yeah, I did. Oh, so well, that's, I'll, I'll show you my great, sample later. Great. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, good. Well, well I, I, I'm close. <laughs> All right, well, well, I, well, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Well, well first of all, let's do some little inset. That'd be the appropriate way. To yes, show sir. That. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You're you're right on track for being a great video editor. So I'm gonna pull your photo over here onto this part, and it's gonna appear right in the middle of the page. Uh -huh. Well, here's where we would decide. Well, where do we want this photo to be? I'm, uh, uh, now, right now, I've, I've got. I must have had the C key clicked because right there, I'm still got the razor. I want the. I'm gonna do the V because I want the pointer. I want the pointer. I don't want to cut anything. So I might decide right there. I want that image to appear. But where do I want it to appear in this? Do I want it to appear up here, over here, over here? That's where you, where do you think it would be best, Bob, up here? The lower right. Lower right, right over here. Behind right. him there. Oh, let's do this then. So what we're going to do, we click on the photo. Uh -huh. And up here on any, it doesn't matter what you've got. It doesn't matter if it's a piece of video or what. The first thing that starts at the top is motion. So I'm going to click on the photo again. You'll see there's this motion thing. If you twirl that down, you got what's called position and scale. Mm-hmm. So let's say we want that to appear over here in the right. What you got, this, this, this 96540, that's, that is the coordinates of where it is. You're a programmer, so you understand math. I don't have to explain, explain a thing to you. Right. You can do one of two things. You can either get on this. You can, you can, you can move it. Your, you can let, slide it left and right by hovering over this, clicking and hovering. Or if you decide you want to, you can actually go here and click on this piece of video. Let's see if it'll let us do it, or that, video, that photo. It'll let you, I think, yeah, you have to double click on it. I'm sorry, I'm about to tell you wrong. Double click on it, and it'll let you drag it to where you want to put it. Yeah. So you might find that to be easier, I don't know. Yeah. Now, at some point, he's going to be talking about, you can't see these sprigs, but they're special. All right? Okay. And in a minute, he's going to be talking about them. And then that's when I want it to show. Okay, well, uh, well look, then what we'll do, we'll pull it to where you want to do it. Let's see. The hairy cat moss is achieving here very late in the, in the winter, early spring, capturing all the sunlight that's coming in. It is as green as I've ever seen in mosses. Now, what's really unusual about mosses... See, I, I've got... Uh, yeah. You'll have to show me where you want the... Vid, the but but the, the point I'm trying to make is you can put the photo anywhere you want to put it. Yeah. Uh, in, in the timeline over here there. Yeah. All right. But go ahead and, and keep going keep forward going. a little right. bit. He's getting, he's leading up. All right. Complete sets of chromosomes. That's called diploid. D-I for two. P-L-O-I-D-Y for set of chromosomes. Diploid. Two sets of chromosomes. Your sperm cells or egg cells have one set of chromosomes. A combination of chromosomes from your mother and father. So you pick one number one, one number two chromosome, one number three chromosome, all the way down some through all 22 sets. No, he knows sets. he's going out. He'll come up to it. It's really important. Uh -huh. Now, everything you've probably seen and everything in this forest, with all these Virginia pines in here, everything in this forest is like us. It's a diploid. Two sets of chromosomes. The only thing you're ever going to see that's... Haploid. Now, since this keeps popping up, if we want to turn it off, we can turn this little eyeball off yeah, here. Okay. And that hides You're it from us. You're getting close, so yeah, and, right, and, right. and you'll see the one purpose set of it. chromosomes in the main body of a plant are going to be bryophytes. And one bryophytes. common example of bryophytes are right, the Now you can bring it up right there. All right. See, it's a bryophyte right. I'm trying to show. All right, so we'll pull this in right here. I'll turn the eyeball back on. Right. Now those are the little individual things ah. above the moss. You see the purpose. Yeah. Now once again, for good storytelling purposes, uh -huh. you might want to use a transition on this. Now, let me let me show you. Okay. Let me show you. So right now, 
I've pulled the photo in and look, the photo just came in for, it came in for a duration of about two seconds. Uh -huh. What you can do, just like a video, you can hover over the left or right of it and you can pull the duration of that. You can make it stay on the screen longer or right. shorter, right? The other thing, you know, cross dissolve is what I use most of the time. I could type in, go over and do C-R-O-S. Cross dissolve. Cross okay. dissolve. And you, you see, it's already got yellow around it, which means it's the default. I don't even have to sometimes, Bob, if I don't want to, I don't even have to click on this and drag it on it. I can go to the end of this and I can right click and it'll say apply, apply default transitions if I want. So I'm going to do that. It knows that this is set up for the default. There's a way to set it up so this is not your default, but this is the most handy default to have. So I'm going to say apply default transition. And now it's going to cross dissolve in anyway. Watch. Are the mosses. All right, and then at the end here, if I, look, if I do a, uh, go hover over the end of it, I say apply default transition, it'll cross dissolve it out. Now here's something else that you see a lot in documentaries, because you might be doing this. Let, let, let me do this. Let me take these, the, these uh, I'm going to take these transitions off for a minute, because this is kind of important. You might decide you want that thing to zoom in a little bit while he's talking. This is this brings up what I, I kind of call the Ken Burns effect, and I've got a much better video that shows how you do this. But let me show you this. This is pretty neat. I'm going to click on this, and we've already got our position set because we drag it over here. But let's type, let's do this little left arrow here, this little arrow beside the scale, and I'm going to click. I'm going to click down on that. Now there's a little stopwatch thing beside here. This little stopwatch. What that is is it's a thing for what's called a keyframe. Uh -huh. Only thing you need to know about it is keyframe is a, it's what Walt Disney and all would, would do. He would he would draw like Mickey Mouse and then he'd draw where Mickey Mouse was supposed to be uh -huh. somewhere else five seconds later. Uh -huh. And he had all these animators that worked for him. And he'd say like a Mickey Mouse is gonna start here in front of the steam engine and he's gonna end up over here in front of the of the house. Uh -huh. Now you create all my here, here's this keyframe. Here's this other keyframe. Now you create all the other frames for, for me, and he had to, had to hire, he hired this. So that's what a keyframe is. Is, is keyframe tells you where you're going to start, and where you're going to end. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the stopwatch. And it's going to put a keyframe here. It's going to tell me that I want this to start at this size that we've got here already. Uh -huh. Now I can set the size up and down. I can pick. I could, I could uh, slide this thing. I could go 150 percent or 100 or 90 percent, 80 percent. What I'm going to do, this, it sounds a little confusing, but I don't want it to be. We're going to go to about halfway through this, and I want this to zoom in a little bit as, as he's talking. Good, good. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here, we're going to grab on this 100%, and we're going to tell it to go to about 130%. Mm -hmm. That's great. So what we're going to, now, now, now it, we're not, we're not, you'll, you'll figure out better ways to do this as you're doing it yourself. But so what we, we just told it to go, and you actually see this slide, it's going to slide it, slide up here as we go. Now what's happened, it's kind of gone off the screen a little bit. So what you can also do here, if I'd done it, I should have done it to begin. I'm going to go back to the very beginning frame again. And I'm, going to, I'm going to click the stopwatch for position. Mm -hmm. Now what that, that's put a keyframe for position. Now I'm going to go back over here to where my stock now uh, it, it, so i can see where my size quits so i'm gonna go right to right to where that little diamond is there a little dot uh -huh. so i'm gonna say okay and i want I, I don't want my corners to go off the screen so i'm going to slide this position now back over where we're back on the screen and I, i'm doing it up here you could still do it but right clicking on it and pulling it so now what's going to happen is over time see what's happening that thing's going to grow common example of bryophytes are the mosses so when you see this green, so now it's growing little it's by little. Your sperm or egg sets. It only has one set of chromosomes. Now then it's going to stop right there. Now I might decide, okay, I want to fade this out. Here, I'm going to pull this back to here, and I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to apply a fault transition. Yeah. And apply a fault transition. Now that once again, I don't, I don't want to cover your, but, but I'm just showing you as an example of how it can yeah. work. So now the other thing you might decide, I, I want, this is a good effect for you to see too. I'm going to type drop over here, D R O P. And this drop shadow pulls up here. We might decide we want a little bit of a shadow yeah. underneath this to make it stand I, out from I've the been, screen. I, yeah. Have you experimented with that already? No, but I I think it needs it. It needs that, don't it? Yeah. So, so let's pull this over onto the photo. And now it's got a little bit of a drop shadow. Now what I'm going to do is, since i got a whole bunch of mess up here, I can't see what I'm doing, I'm going to close this motion back up. We've already made our motion changes. Now i got my drop shadow. 
And here, it tell, uh, what I'm going to do, it's a 50% drop shadow, which means it's, it's not too dark. I maybe go to 70%. Uh -huh. And the, the angle, the direction is showing you which way it's going to go. It's going to go that way or that way or this way or this yeah. way. It's, it defaults to 135%. I'm going to tell it to go a distance of about 12 pixels. And softness, I can let's make it about 20 pixels. So now you can see, now right now it's a hard shadow. Let's make it a little softer. Let's make it, you got this softness thing here. I'm going to twirl it down. I'm going to say, let's soften that up a little bit now. Now it just kind of stands out a little bit. Maybe let's go to 80%. So now we've got a nice little drop shadow under this. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do a control save to save this. At any time, if you want to see this thing full screen, this is a good one to remember too. And you're not going to, the reason I'm recording a video of this, you're not going to absorb all this the first time. I'm going to click on this window, and I'm going to hit this tilde key. This tilde right up here is the top yeah, one beside uh, the one. Yeah. And that gives you pretty much a full screen view of what you got. Uh -huh. and you can pull it back, and you can actually preview it to see what you got. And one common example of bryophytes are the mosses. So now we got to drop shadow. So when it. you see this yeah. green, it's like your sperm or egg sets. It only has one. Okay, I'm going to stop that. And we'll t you hit the tilde key again to get back to your edit. Just re reverse it, okay. Yeah, to reverse it. And then we can pull this back, left mm -hmm. or right. So there we go, just size that. Now, the other thing you can do, I'm going to get save again, is say we're watching this piece of video, and right now I've got my volume turned way up on this Bose over here that I'm, lit, I'm monitoring on. But let's say you want to, even though you didn't have a microphone on them or anything, mm -hmm. you want to make this where you can hear it a little better. Right. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you a trick here too uh, for, for being able to see what, this is what I call, I like to look at the fatness of my audio wave. Uh -huh. There are lines, little lines in between each of these tracks. This is an audio track, this is an audio track, and another audio track. So you can put audio on top of audio, just uh -huh. like you can put video on top of video. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go to this little line right below this audio track, and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. When you do that, it'll show you the what the, audio wave uh -huh. now what we're going to do we're going to look at this a little bit i'm going to zoom in look how low down uh, your audio wave can go all the way if it touches the top of this it starts to distort okay and it gets distorted sounding yeah. but you can tell here your audio wave could be pumped up a whole lot there to look how low it is uh -huh. now what you can do i'm going to click just on this piece of audio here i'm not going to affect these other ones because you might decide well some audio sounds fine some of it doesn't but I'm going to right click on the audio wave down here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go over here to audio gain. I use this all the time. I'm going to, I'm going to click on it. I just left clicked on it once. I right, right click to see it. Went to audio gain. And here I can tell it to adjust by however many decibels I want to do it. I can normalize it, which will, it will sort of automatically do that for you. Uh -huh. I like to usually, when I see this, I just know that probably needs about six or seven decibels added to it. I'm going to say six. For this one just hope. now watch what happens to the wave when i do this oh, it got yeah. a little thicker right yeah. let's, let's, let's let us let maybe i decide that wasn't quite enough i'm gonna right click again on audio gain it'll come up here it'll show me where i've done the six before so this time i'm going to i'm going to click the set gain to instead of letting it adjust gain by i went to this one where i already done it before i'm gonna go to 10. Okay. that made it a little yeah. bit thicker now let's let's go <laughs> let's let's see what the differences are here because this is something you'll do all the time Fairy cat moss is achieving here very late in the spring. Do you in the watch the scale here to spring, see if it's uh, capturing the green scale? Yep. Like it's coming in. Yep. And it, you can if it hits red, you're distorting. Okay. Now it can hit red a little bit once in a while, and it usually doesn't bother. But if you go, like if, if we were to do this and Bob, let's say, let's say from right here, <laughs> let's do a cut right here. Mm -hmm. And let, let's just me let's mess it up so I can show you what a mess up looks like. Let's say I go here and I decide I'm gonna do 30. This is gonna oh, this is gonna big time distort it. We'll go to 30 and I'll show you. See right now, that's hitting a lot of red. So oh, let's let's listen to what happens. It'll hurt her, hurt her ears probably. In mosses. Now, what's really unusual about mosses, you have to sort of see it. It, yeah. it knows. It'll tell you when you've gone yeah. too far. I'm gonna do a Control Z to undo that. Control Z. If you ever do something, you mess up. Well, can automatically, yeah, it's a back. shortcut undoing. for undoing, exactly. Yeah.